Hello and welcome to this presentation about future location in models, also known as FLIMEA. FLIMEA is a tool developed by the SBIT Research Group from San Jorge's University. In this video, we are going to go through the steps performed to achieve future location in models. What is future location about? Future location is a key activity to re-engineer a set of products into a product line. In the context of model-driven software engineering, models are the cornerstone artifact where future location must be performed. The parts that make up the process range from information retrieval to machine learning and include the dimension of search-based software engineering. Given the description of a future, Flimea search in one or more models what elements are related with that feature. As a result, Flimea returns a ranking of model fragments. Each model fragment contains one or more model elements. The model fragment that contains the most relevant elements for the described feature will have the highest value in the ranking. The whole ranking is presented to the engineers, and they can make the final decision to select the model fragment for the described feature, taking into account their experience. Why Flimea? Or, which is the same, why is future location important? We start from the point that the variability is not formalized. Thus, we locate model fragments to reuse them as features in other products, and Flimea is specifically designed on locating model fragments on models. Where can this be done? Models simply are the abstract specification of a part of a software system. Flimea is specifically designed to target product models created with a DSL conforming to MOF as the artifact for locating the features. There are several types of popular modeling languages, such as UML class diagrams, GraphSet, Textual Modeling, BPMN or Entity Relationship, among others. This is something enriching, but sometimes the opposite may be the case, because in the industry models accumulate are made by different engineers who are not even in the company. How is this achieved? Flimea relies on an evolutionary algorithm. The inputs of the evolutionary algorithm are one or more models and a description of the future, and the output of the evolutionary algorithm is a ranking of model fragments. Specifically, this evolutionary algorithm is composed by three steps, the encoding, the assessment, and the genetic manipulation. In the encoding, Flimea creates an initial population of model fragments, which are candidate solutions for the problem. Moreover, in order to manipulate them, these model fragments are encoded as individuals. An individual is a set of zeros and ones, where a zero indicates that the corresponding element is absent in the model fragment whereas an one indicates that the correspondent element is present in the model fragment. For example, pantograph 1 is present in the model so the position A of the individual is equal to 1. Therefore, at the end of the encoding step, there is a population of model fragments encoded as individuals that are candidate solutions for the problem. In the assessment step, the individuals are evaluated to know what of the individuals is the best solution for the search feature. Flimea implements different fitness functions that can perform this evaluation. In this video, we are going to focus on the fitness function based on learning to rank. Learning to rank is the name given to a family of machine learning algorithms, which automatically address ranking tasks. Therefore, 
The fitness function based on learning to rank ranks the population of individuals according to what individual is the best realization of the search feature. To do this, a classifier is trained with some examples in order to learn how to rank individuals and differentiate what individual is better than others. A learning to rank algorithm empowers us to create this classifier. However, learning to rank algorithms are designed to process future vectors as inputs. The objective of the future vectors is to characterize the object being observed, instead of determining the presence or not of the elements as the individuals does. To explain the difference between an individual and a future vector, imagine that you are building your ideal house, but this house is still under construction. If we were thinking in terms of an individual, we could say that the door is already present in the house, but the roof is not present because it is under construction. However, if we were thinking in terms of future vector, we could say that the under construction house has one door, one window, two trees and zero roofs. We are not worried about if one element is present or not. We are worried about how many doors, windows, trees or other elements are built. In fact, we could think about elements that our ideal house doesn't have, but other houses have them. For example, we could say that the under construction house has zero chimneys. Therefore, while individuals represent the presence or absence of elements, the future vectors characterize how the model fragments are. So as the model fragments are encoded into individuals to be manipulated for the evolutionary algorithm, the model fragments are encoded into future vectors for being evaluated by the classifier. This encoding is based in an ontology that allows to know the main concepts and relations of a domain. Its value in the future vector corresponds to the number times that a concept or a relation appears in the model fragment. For example, the concept C1 that corresponds to the pantograph concept is equal to 1 in the future vector because the model fragment has one pantograph. To sum up, Flimea can represent the model fragments using three different ways. The first one is a graphical representation based on elements and their relations. The second one is a binary vector based on the presence or absence of the model elements in the model fragment. This representation is called individual and the evolutionary algorithm uses this representation to manipulate the model fragments. And the third one is a numerical representation based on how many times a type of element appears in the model fragment. It is called future vector and the fitness function uses this representation to evaluate if a model fragment is close or not to the search future. All these representations describes a model fragment using different ways, and Flimea can encode a model fragment as an individual or a future vector according to the necessity. At the end of the assessment step, the fitness function will have ranked the model fragments taking into account the described feature. The last step of the evolutionary algorithm is the genetic manipulation. In this step, the individuals are evolved by means of genetic operations such as selection, crossover or mutation. In order to get new candidate solutions that are better than the current ones. For example, the mutation of a model fragment can cause the addition of an element in the model fragment. In this example, the circuit breaker 2 wasn't present in the original model fragment, but it is present in the new model fragment. Therefore, using genetic operations, new model fragments are generated and the cycle of assessment and genetic manipulations is repeated until some stop criteria is met. For example, fixed number of generations or time. When the stop criteria is met, Flimea returns a ranking of model fragments. 
This ranking contains the best model fragment found by the tool for the search feature. The engineer can select the model fragment that he considers more suitable for being ritualized in a new product. Now, as a demonstration, let's see an industrial case study based on railway solutions. 20 features are searched in different models. However, the results were obtained after only one iteration of the evolutionary algorithm to simplify the process in this demo. To know the real results of Flimea, we encourage us to read the publications of the SBIT Research Group. Our industrial partner give us several models, 20 future descriptions and the correct solutions for these 20 features. The reports are the result of comparing the best model fragment in the ranking returned by Flimea with the solution provided by our industrial partner. These comparisons are made regarding four metrics precision, recall, F-measure, and Matthews correlation coefficient. Moreover, Flimea also has two views for graphic analysis of the results. The first view shows the results according to the evolutionary algorithm, how many model fragments have been generated, evolved, and assessed by the evolutionary algorithm. What is the density, the multiplicity, and the dispersion of the model fragments evaluated. In the show example, 24 model fragments have been generated, evolved and assessed. Taking into account the first plot, 5 model fragments are smaller. They contain less than 25% of the model elements. Most of the elements are medium. They contain around 50% of the model elements. And 5 of the model fragments are bigger they contain more than a 75% of the model elements. Taking into account the second plot, all the model fragments have a multiplicity. That means that there are another model fragments in the model such as them. Taking into account the third plot, all the elements in the model fragments are strongly connected among them. The second view allows to compare the search space, the expected solution, and the found solutions. The first column shows the search space, the model or models where Flimea is searching the future. It is possible to see its size, number of elements of the model, the volume, the number of involved models, and the representation of the model or models using a tree format. In this example, the search space contains 539 elements. The search space is composed only with one model. The second column shows the expected solution, the best model fragment for the search feature. It is possible to see the density, elements present and absent in the model fragment, the multiplicity, if the model fragment is repeating model or it is unique, the dispersion, if the elements in the model fragment are connected or not, and the representation of the model fragment using a tree format. In this example, 89 model elements are present in the model fragment. The model fragment is unique, the elements are strongly connected, and the elements in the model fragment are highlighted in blue color. The third column shows the solutions obtained with Flimea. We can select the model fragments obtaining the last iteration of the evolutionary algorithm and compare them against the expected solution. It is possible to see the density, elements present and absent in the model fragment, the multiplicity, if the model fragment is repeat in model or it is unique, the dispersion, if the elements in the model fragment are connected or not, and the representation of the model fragment using a tree format. In this example, the selected model fragment contains 236 elements. The model fragment is unique. Its dispersion is medium, around the middle of its elements are connected, and these elements are highlighted in blue color in the... Results are not only for university, they are for industry. It's for this reason why several partners are involved. BCH produced under the Bosch, Siemens, Palai brands, among others, through their induction hubs, and CAF with their rolling stock. Trains, trams, high speed, and underground. 
In both, software development is not their main activity, but the product are intention software, because inevitably it's the main source of new functionality, and also software compensates for hardware. Several publications support our work. More information can be found at the following conference papers as well. To contact us, you can send an email to any of our members and for more information, visit our research group website at sbit.usj.es. Thanks for your attention.